Collagen is simple, cheap, and safe, and it can dramatically improve markers of skin health. And a brand new study only increases our confidence in its effectiveness. But it also sheds light on an important question that hasn't been clear. What source of collagen gives us the best results? How do we know that we're taking the right kind? Think of collagen like the scaffolding that holds our structures together in our bones, muscles, tendons, and skin. The skin specifically, collagen forms a network that supports the outer layer, giving it the firmness and elasticity that it needs. Specialized cells in the skin, called fibroblasts, make collagen and elastin, which are the key components for elasticity. But as we age, these fibroblasts, they become less active, and collagen production declines by about 1 to 1.5% per year from early adulthood, and the existing collagen breaks down more quickly. Quickly. This process is made worse by lifestyle factors like smoking and spending time in the sun. With less collagen, the skin begins to lose its firmness and elasticity, and we start to see wrinkles and sagging skin. And this raises a natural question. Is there a way to counteract this loss of collagen as we age? Research has discovered that yes, there is. Supplementing with collagen peptides has been shown to boost skin hydration and elasticity. And this is due to the changes happening on a cellular level in the collagen-containing layer of the skin. Collagen peptides are where the long ropes of collagen have been chopped up into shorter pieces called peptides, and peptides are short chains of amino acids. Now, amino acids make up protein, so a strong criticism of collagen peptide supplements is that if all they are is amino acids, then if we're getting enough protein in our diet, surely collagen peptide supplements won't have any added value, and we'll come back to that criticism shortly when we look at a specific study. First, though, let's look briefly at what the studies that compare collagen peptides to a placebo have found so far in terms of skin health, and then we'll look at how this latest study contributes to a new piece for our understanding. A randomized controlled trial in 2022 tested the effects of collagen peptides on wrinkles and skin quality. Participants took collagen peptides or a placebo for 12 weeks, and their skin was carefully measured before, during, and after the study period. Researchers found that those who were taking collagen peptides had significant improvements in wrinkles, skin roughness, elasticity, and moisture. And this kind of change isn't just seen in one or two studies. A meta-analysis in 2023 looked at 26 individual randomized controlled trials of collagen peptides. The study authors concluded that collagen supplements significantly improve skin hydration and elasticity, and our confidence in collagen's power to affect our skin's condition is now even stronger. Since that meta-analysis was published in 2023, we've got four additional trials that reinforce these findings. All of them show positive effects. So for instance, this study published in February 2024 looked at wrinkles, elasticity, and hydration. They measured participants at the 4, 8, and 12-week mark, and once again, those taking collagen peptides experienced significant improvements. Wrinkle size, elasticity, and hydration, they all got better. But there's an important question that comes up in the research. We can get collagen peptides from different sources. So studies have used collagen that comes from fish, cows, pigs, and chickens, and the effect sizes differ between the studies. This has led to some researchers to conclude that different sources of collagen are more effective than others. And if that's true, we want to make sure that we're supplementing with collagen peptides from the best source. So what source is actually best? Well, the authors of this new study may have something to say about that. The researchers noticed that the existing studies used collagen from fish or pigs, so they wanted to investigate the effects of collagen sourced from cows instead. The study design had two parts. First, they conducted a randomized controlled trial of collagen peptide supplements. This trial included 66 women aged between 35 to 55, and it lasted eight weeks. They looked at collagen's impact in terms of wrinkle volume around the eyes plus elasticity and hydration of the skin. They used very precise equipment to measure the changes. So for eye wrinkles, they assessed the change in volume of one individual wrinkle, and they tested that at four and the eight-week mark. For elasticity, they precisely measured how quickly the skin returned to normal after being stretched. And they assessed hydration using a device that measures how well the top layer of the skin can hold an electric charge. So when skin is more hydrated, it holds the charge better. So what were the results of the study? Well, let's have a look at eye wrinkle volume. When they checked at four weeks, it had decreased by about 9% compared to the placebo group. And at the eight-week mark, the reduction was an impressive 25%. One person even had a reduction of 51%. So what about skin elasticity? Well, this improved by 6% at the four-week mark and 9% by the end of the study. And finally, they found benefits with hydration. By eight weeks, it had increased by 26% in the group taking collagen peptides compared to the placebo group. 
But this was just one part of the study. The researchers also analyzed the effects of collagen peptides at the cellular level. They wanted to confirm the mechanism driving the changes that they saw in the participants' skin. And they did this by growing fibroblasts in cells in the lab. So recall that these are the cells that are central to skin health. They make collagen and elastin, which are the two key ingredients of skin structure. They then exposed those cells to collagen peptides to see how they responded. And what they saw under the microscope confirmed that the skin improvements were were driven by positive cellular changes. The fibroblasts exposed to collagen peptides increased their production of collagen, elastin, and another important molecule called proteoglycan that's critical for skin hydration. Taken together, the findings from the study give us additional evidence for the power of collagen peptide supplements to rejuvenate our skin, and the changes seen here align with and help support the previous findings. But the study also helps to shed light on a critical question about sources. So in contrast to many earlier studies that used fish or pork collagen, Researchers of this study used collagen from cows, and yet the impact of the supplements was similar. This led the study authors to a novel conclusion. It doesn't look like the effectiveness of collagen peptide supplements depends upon the animal source from which they come. So what might explain the difference then in the earlier studies? Well, it's known that the specific production processes used to isolate collagen from the different sources do have an impact on the final product. So maybe it's differences in how the collagen peptides are produced rather than the original source. It's an intriguing idea that they admit more research is needed. But for now, the study does add an important data point, indicating that the original source of the collagen peptides might not be as important as some used to think. But while this may help to settle one controversy about collagen peptides, there's another one that we need to address, and it has to do with the form rather than the source. As we've already noted, collagen peptides are just short chains of amino acids, and our bodies can build collagen from amino acid building blocks that we can get from various protein sources. So shouldn't we just eat more protein? Do we get any extra benefit from consuming collagen peptides specifically? Well, we know that short peptide chains, they are absorbed directly by the gut and into the human bloodstream by peptide transporters. So there is a potential mechanism for how collagen peptide supplements may have a different impact on skin health compared to other dietary protein sources. And one intriguing randomized controlled trial from 2020 gives us direct evidence for greater efficacy of peptides. It examined burn patients. So one group took protein and the other group took a matching amount of collagen peptides. The collagen peptide group experienced significantly higher wound healing rates compared to the protein group. So this suggests that collagen peptides do indeed have benefits beyond regular protein intake. This is why I included 12 and a half grams of collagen peptides in microvitamin plus powder. But just because I take a supplement does not in any way mean that you should as well. And if you do decide to purchase a collagen peptide supplement, again, the research suggests that the original form or type of collagen doesn't appear to matter because remember that long rope of collagen is chopped up into shorter pieces and it doesn't resemble the original collagen rope. And while collagen peptides are a great science-backed way to help maintain healthy-looking skin, there are two other things that I personally use that have strong evidence for their effectiveness. So the first connects to that layer of skin where we find collagen and elastin. In addition to those components, youthful skin also relies on hyaluronic acid. It's a natural compound found especially in our skin, joints, and eyes. One of its standout features is the ability to retain moisture. It's kind of like a sponge with an incredible capacity. Just one quarter teaspoon of hyaluronic acid can absorb one and a half gallons of water. It provides critical structural support in the skin. It helps to keep it plump, hydrated and smooth and unfortunately levels of hyaluronic acid they slowly decrease with age so someone at 75 years of age has only one quarter of the amount of hyaluronic acid in their skin compared to someone who is 19 and that's led to a natural question is it possible to somehow restore the levels of hyaluronic acid in the skin back to a youthful level and after several clinical trials with hyaluronic acid supplements it appears that the answer is yes for example a 2021 study that was published in the european journal of dermatology found that hyaluronic acid supplements decreased wrinkles by 18.8% compared to the placebo group. And a larger 2023 study of 129 people again demonstrated skin benefits from hyaluronic acid supplements. And based on these and other supplements, I also include hyaluronic acid and in microvitamin and microvitamin plus powder.
And one other thing that I do to keep my skin healthy is very easy to overlook. This is because we often think about repairing aging skin rather than preventing aging in the first place. And one of the key drivers of aging of the skin is UV radiation. We can't see it, but we can certainly see its effects. It breaks down collagen and elastin in the skin. It erodes elasticity and firmness. It also damages DNA and stimulates pigment cells, creating age spots and other discolorations. All of this can dramatically accelerate the appearance of skin aging. It also increases our chances of skin cancer. And I've done a recent video covering important updates to sunscreen technology that you can check out here to make sure that you select a sunscreen that doesn't have ingredients that get absorbed through the skin and into the bloodstream.